fishing. It has been one of the biggest ways people have got food since prior to the dawn of the human being. And when it comes back in the day, they used to only use worms to catch their food or spears. It has upgraded since then, and now we use these things called artificial lures. But when it comes to lures, they're pretty expensive, so you want to know how to tie them on first. So first, we're going to look at some knots you can use. So here we have a snow knot, we have the uni knot, we have a blood knot, which is two different types of line tied together, and my favorite knot, the polymer knot. It's also the strongest knot that you can use, and there's, it takes seven steps for beginners to learn how to tie it. And pro Scott Martin even says that when he's in a tournament, he will only use the polymer knot when fishing tournaments because he has never broke off of one before. But now, well, let's get in to some lures and start with some spinners. This is considered a double bladed spinner because of its two blades right here. It is supposed to show you, like represent a fish swimming. And on fishespa.com in 2018, Don Manning said that the best time to use a spinner is in early spring when the waters are up near 40 degrees. Um, you can also throw a trailer on it underneath the skirt there's where the hook is. And so now let's move to uh, crankbaits. And this is what a crankbait looks like with the bill. And it's also lipless cranks. And their best time to use them is in the fall when the fish are trying to fatten up for the winter and they try to chase their prey a lot more. Um, I use When you're using them in a lake more, they have shad a lot and bass love shad. So you would still want to use like a wider color, especially for the bottom, because what they're looking up at most of the time is just the bottom of it. So you want it to be more white. Then you have soft plastics, which these are considered soft plastic, both of them are, but the top ones are called swim baits which is what you use as mostly your trailers, on your chatters, your jigs, and your spinners. On the bottom here, we have soft plastic worms, and you can rig them up multiple ways for them to work, but the most famous ways to use them are Texas rig or a drop shot. And then you have my all-time favorite, the chatterbait. This is a chatterbait here on the bottom, and this on the top. This is with the trailer, that's without and the reason it's called a chatterbait is because this blade in the front, when it's in the water, it makes a vibration and the fish can hear vibrations, like kind of like echolocation for dolphins, but a little different. And it attracts them a lot more. And on monsterbass.com, Mike Moser, who's also a pro, says he loves to use chatterbaits because of their effectiveness in muddy waters. And how easy it is to attract fish when they can't see as clear. And he likes to use them when it's nighttime. And then we got some jerk baits. This is called a jerk bait. You can tell it's a jerk bait based on the little, I call them little tongues, because it looks like it's a tongue. And these are good all year long. I use them mostly in the summer but they can work just about any time of the year. And on uh, Bassmaster.com, David Brown said that in 2017, this is the best bait he's used for one reason. Because when it's super, when it's getting colder, he likes to fish them super slow and gets major results with it. And when he's fish, because when you, you can fish them however you want, but when it's colder, you want to do it slower. So the, because the bass aren't moving as fast when it's cold. So they want to, you want them to catch up to it to make them feel like they're better than their prey. And so to conclude all this, we have that you need to practice tying strong knots before going out on the water with your expensive lures because you don't want to throw them off. You've done it multiple times. Um, most All these baits I just showed you are mostly used for bass fishing. 
and you should uh, get out there and rip some lips. Thank you.